what's up Honey Crunchers? It's me Jam and welcome back to Honey Crunch 321. It has been almost two years since I last posted a vlog and the third episode has finally come. Special thanks to my sister for helping me film this video. But before anything else, let's pass through this curtain. Wait, will it lead us to Narnia? Or to Terabithia? Wait, to Key House? Or to Diagon Alley? Hmm, well, I guess curtains leads us to my nail polish collection. Let me welcome you guys to all of my nail art stuffs. Can I have a round of applause, please? <laughs> Thank you. Let me show you around with this stand first. Here's the top level. On the top level, we have a container with brushes. These brushes are all new, and I'll probably use them soon. And in the middle is a certificate of appreciation. I received the certificate when I judged a nail art competition in 2018 at the SMX Convention Center Manila, Mall of Asia Complex, Pasay City. If you want to see my vlog about that, the link is available on the description box. And on the right side is a cute mailbox. My mom bought this for me and it's by Bench. It originally has two towels inside and I ended up storing three luxury press-on nails that OMG has sent to me for review. And now for the middle level. We have here are my Girl Stuff nail polishes and a few sleek gel polish which is by the brand Girl Stuff 2. Then some 1010 10 nail polishes. And one happy skin nail polish. On the left side, we have an organizer full of my nail art brushes, dotting tools, cuticle oil, cuticle pusher, and many, many more. Plus an adorable pink tumbler. Now let's move on to the bottom level. Inside this pink container are some random stuffs. Then inside this girl stuff tin can is some of my gems and studs. And the other one contains cases of glitters. These two tin cans originally contains girl stuff's 2019 whimsical collection. I posted a swatch and review video for that, and if you haven't seen that video yet, the link is available below. Now the next boxes contains my nail art stampers. And that's a wrap for my first stand. Let's move on to this one. Hmm. 
On the top level, we have different base coats, top coats, nail polish removers, and more. On the middle level, we have nail polishes by Primark, IBD, Kenmake Tokyo, Qtex, Nature Republic, Caress, Annie, Curie by Wings, and Jakarst. Then on the bottom level, we have more nail polish removers, a white craft glue, water decals, acrylic paints, and striping tapes. And below the bottom level are containers of my cotton pads, sponges, Q-tips, cotton balls, and a lint roller. And below that other stand, we have another level. This contains my cell phone camera lenses, which I use for macro shots, magic tape, a packing tape or a thick transparent tape, and two stamping plate holders. And that's a wrap for this one. Now let's move on to the two main nail polish racks. Let me show you the right nail polish rack first. Now let's take a closer look at the first level. We have Nail Love Polishes by HBC. And on the other side is all of Bench Beauty's nail polishes. I currently have all 23 shades from their nail polish line. And I have posted some swatch and review videos for them already. And of course, the link for those is available below. Now let's move on to the next level. We have here our nail polishes by Coronia. Most of my Coronia nail polishes are prizes that I received from one of Coronia's nail art contests on Instagram. I think it was 3 or 4 years ago. I'm not so sure when that was, but I will surely leave the link below so that you can see my video unboxing of that. This level contains all of my OMG nail polishes. OMG has sent me many nail polishes, but we've also bought many OMG nail polishes as well. And I think I've done quite a lot of swatch and review videos for their collections, such as their French manicure collection, Grayskull collection, which I've posted on my Instagram exclusively, then their Northern Lights collection, their Invisible Polish collection, and they even gifted me their entire gems collection on my birthday last year, which made my birthday even more special. Oh, and they have also sent me their stamping plates, manicure tools, and more. Big thanks to OMG for all of those stuffs, and I always use them. If you want to see those videos I've mentioned, all of them will be listed below. And on the right side are Saranghe Nail Polishes, which is by the brand OMG as well. And on to the next level. In this level, we have Chic Centra Nail Polishes such as Chic Nail Color, Color Trends, and Bobby. Then I have Bench Paint Box Nail Polishes too and sassy colors and on the bottom level we have a snack time coca-cola popcorn container which contains nail polishes that i have an extra bottle of now let me show you guys what's inside this container
Then this one contains my rectangular stamping plate sleeves. Now let me guys show you their pictures. Then this container contains my circular and square stamping plate sleeves. And this is the picture. And on the right side is a sketchbook wherein I draw sketches of my ideas for a nail art. And that's a wrap for my first nail polish rack. Now let's move on to the next one. Welcome to the top level. On the left side, we have BK nail polishes, which were all given to me by my friend Anna. Then my Born Pretty nail polishes, which were sent to me by the company for review. Then stamping polishes from Born Pretty Store. But this batch, we bought the stamping polishes. And on the right side, we have Wet and Wild nail polishes. Now let's move on to the next level. We have Miniso nail polishes. BYS, Sally Hansen, and Revlon. Then let's move on to the next level. Here are my Essence nail polishes. Most of these were given by my mom as a birthday present last year. And I also did a video for that, so don't forget to check that out. Then Catrice Cosmetics Nail Polishes, Tony Moly, Etude House, and Mumuso Nail Polishes. And then on the next level are Lofus Manicure Nail Polishes. And as you can see on the right side, I still have some space. And on the bottom level, we have a Crunchman fridge and two tin cans that serve as paperweights. And inside, we have a Coronia towel which I got from a contest prize, a judge badge when I judge a nail art competition, and an extra nail file. Then we have extra top coats, base coats, and BK nail polishes. And this is where I store my OMG manicure tools. And that's a wrap. I've shown you guys my nail polish collection as of March 2020. Which part of my nail polish collection is your favorite? I want to know it so kind of leave it on the comment section below. But before this video ends, have you guys counted how many nail polishes I currently have on my racks and stands? Let me know your guesses on the comment section. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit like, share this video to your awesome friends, and subscribe for more videos. Follow me on Instagram to get the latest updates. And if you want to watch more videos, I listed all of the videos that I've mentioned earlier on the description box, so don't forget to check them out. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!